Thanks for tuning in everyone to this latest weather briefing. We're going to see some drastic changes to our weather pattern starting to unfold now. Uh, this is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. We're going to talk about heavy precipitation potential and mountain snowfall. First significant winter storm on the horizon. We are looking at hot weather that occurred the past two days. Take a look at temperatures at one o'clock Monday afternoon. They were in the low to mid 90s across the coastal areas as offshore Santa Ana winds continued on Monday. Even our mountain areas were in the 60s and 70s. We're gonna see temperatures that drop 30 to 40 degrees by Wednesday. Where is this cold air and where is the moisture coming from? Tropical moisture, basically, which has been giving us the offshore flow is a weather disturbance to our south over the Baja region. That remnant moisture is going to be drawn quickly northward on Tuesday as it merges into the cold air coming down directly from western Canada. The two low pressure areas are going to meet, merge, and form one and bring a significant storm to the southwest. Precipitation outlook for the next several days targets San Diego County with the heaviest rainfall, widespread one to two inches. Points northward all the way up to the San Bernardino Mountains nearly as much. You can see southwest California, the Colorado River Valley, and the southern Sierra Nevada is targeted for the heaviest precipitation. Where is this coming from and what is the weather pattern creating it? The cold air will dive directly from the north on Tuesday, merge with an old upper level low pressure and mild warm tropical air to the south. The two will phase together on Wednesday and be right over Southwest California. That puts Arizona and Southern California in a prime region uh, for upward motion that brings heavy rain, thunderstorms, and potential for flooding, and then eventually mountain snow from that cold air. What kind of rainfall precipitation amounts are we expecting in our region? Basically one to two inches in San Diego County, half inch to an inch and a half in Western Riverside County, and up to about an inch in Orange County. Most of this rainfall, the heaviest will be Tuesday night and Wednesday. That's also when we expect to see uh, thunderstorms from two rounds of moisture coming through, one Tuesday evening and the other with the cold air Wednesday morning. Snowfall. It does look like this will be our first snowfall and it will be significant up above 6,000 feet with several inches of snow in the mountain communities. I think up near pass level at 7, 7,500 feet, we could see as much as 4 to 8 inches of snow. Primarily, the snow will be on Wednesday as the cold air sweeps through our region and then the snow rates continue into Wednesday evening. Wind will be an issue mainly for our desert and ridge tops. I think we'll see some strong downsloping winds, especially for San Diego County deserts along the I-8 um, as this storm really winds up over LA and pumps all that wind up from the south and into the desert region. Really, that's going to be the focus of the jet stream driving that tropical moisture into Arizona. Primarily, I think the wind will be Tuesday night and Wednesday. It's going to be cold, especially by Thursday morning. Early Thursday morning, our mountain areas will be in the 20s and 30s. We could even see wet snowflakes over the San Diego mountains as they drop into the mid-30s. And precipitation will still be around Thursday morning. So keep that in mind if traveling early Thursday morning. Precipitation will still be around. And we're going to see some of that wet snow continuing um, heavy on Wednesday, but even continuing Thursday morning above 6,000 feet. Cold temperatures, even for our coastal areas, dropping to the 40s. And that is a drastic change from the 90s we saw today. Here are the latest hazards. Tune into our webpage for updates. The green shaded areas are where we're most concerned, not only concerned, but most concerned for the potential for excessive rainfall, flash flooding, urban flooding, including burn scar uh, water flows and debris. Now, uh, in the blue shaded area is the winter storm watch, and that's for the heavy snow, especially for Wednesday, Wednesday night. So if you're in the green shaded areas, um, now is the time to prepare for potential urban, uh, small stream, and other type of flooding. That includes parts of the Inland Empire, parts of the Santa Ana Mountains, and really much 
of San Diego County. Here are the highlights. The last significant rainfall was tropical remnants that came in from Arizona from our east late September. The last real winter storm was mid-May 2019. We're talking about cold polar air merging with tropical moisture, so kind of the best of both worlds, all right? And that tropical moisture to the south is what made it so hot the past two days. That cold air from the north will be the recipe for heavy mountain snowfall. The two combined will lead to showers and thunderstorms as early as Tuesday afternoon, developing over the California Bight um, and spreading across the coastal and valley areas. The heaviest, I think, will be Wednesday, especially Wednesday morning when the cold front sweeps through. Moist west to northwest flow will continue behind the upper low, and that'll be Wednesday night into Thursday, especially for parts of Riverside and much of San Diego County. So tricky travel conditions Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Rainfall totals, I think everyone will see a half inch to an inch and a half. Rainfall rates exceeding a quarter inch to a half inch, uh, lesser in northern Orange County. Snowfall of a couple inches, even up in Big Bear City and Wrightwood. I think our mountain areas will be pleasantly surprised with some significant snowfall at ski resort level of four to 10 inches of snow. Um, it's going to be quite cold when we get into Thursday morning, allowing that snow to stick and accumulate. Here are some definitions you should be familiar with. What a flash flood watch means, potential for unusual flooding in urban areas, also uh, burn scar areas. Flash flood warning means it's urgent and dangerous now, uh, where that flooding is occurring now. Uh, a winter storm watch means the potential for either high winds and or heavy snow. If we jump into a warning for a winter storm, that means urgently heavy snow will impact travel in those areas. If we issue advisories, that only means that the impact is expected to be a little bit less. Not no impact, but less impact. The warning is when we're real serious and we think that impact is at its highest state and could affect large populations and property. That's the warning level. So this information will be posted as soon as it's issued on Twitter and on our weather.gov San Diego page. Stay tuned. Be prepared for mountain winter conditions. Bring your chains. Um, now is the time to clean out your rain gutters to clear debris around your house. We have not seen any significant rainfall this fall. And for a lot of places, it's been a long time. Initially, we're going to have problems with um, dirty uh, and slippery roads with the oils and stuff running off. But then we're going to transition to just downright heavy rainfall uh, Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. The cold air, remember, arrives early Wednesday morning. And that cold air will lower our snow levels to about 6,000 feet on Wednesday. Stay safe, everyone.